Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers, it's JJ the Trucker coming to you from somewhere north of Dallas, uh, Texas. And uh, as you can see, it's a rainy and gray day. Blech. Yeah, I don't care much for these days, but you know, better than snow, better than uh, than the alternatives. Uh, just I love nice blue sunny days, you know, that's for me. But uh, that's all right. Kind of have a day off today, uh, unplanned. The uh, the load that I'm picking up won't actually be ready until early tomorrow morning, so I've already dropped the trailer, and I uh, uh, did that early this morning, and I'm just sitting around all day waiting for it, and then I'll pick it up tomorrow morning and head on out. I'll still have plenty of time to get to my destination, so not a big deal, not a big deal. Uh, so, what did I do today? I did some shopping, went over to Best Buy, went over to TJ Maxx. Um, went over to Walmart earlier um, and I really finished up fixing up the inside of the truck yay finally it took two and a half months but it's finally done and I really want to show you the grand tour of the inside of my truck now that everything's fixed all right so without further ado let's get started all right let's start with my GPS system everybody say hello to Nagatha Christie yes I named her Nagatha Christie because she nag, 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 nags all the time, always telling me what to do, where to go. She's like a backseat driver, constantly. So I literally renamed her Nagatha. Check it out. Okay, Nagatha. Say a command. <laughs> Down. Up. Exit. There you go. So yeah, I named her Nagatha. Um, and uh, I had to put the okay in front of it because... Uh, Sometimes when she's taking me in the, the wrong place down the wrong turn, I, I, wrong, wrong turn, I yell at her and I don't want her responding to me at that point. So I put the okay in front of it, just like uh, just like Google. Uh, speaking of that, let's move on over to look at this, my Alexa Auto. Oh, there she goes, said her name. Exit. All right. Uh, so yeah, I got, got her in here too. Uh, she's hooked up uh, to the Bluetooth uh, through my phone into the stereo. I say not the best of stereos, uh, not the worst, but you know, stereos probably could have gotten a stereo like this probably like 15 years ago, I think. So, and eh, it's it's okay. It comes with the truck. You know, not not much room for uh, for anything better. Whatever, not a big deal. But it does have the Bluetooth capability. You just have to switch over to Bluetooth every single time you turn on the truck. Uh, which is pain in the butt, but anyways, um, is what it is. Uh, that came with the truck, and Alexa, there she goes again. Darn it, said her name, didn't I? Never mind. Uh, of course, she's you're not going to hear her respond because the stereo is off. Uh, but anyways, I've got her put in here. Uh, it helps control the music and adds things to my shopping list, my to-do list, answers questions, all that good fun stuff. Uh, she plays a lot of games too as we're going down the road. Uh, song quiz, one of my favorite games. Yeah. Uh, here we've got my uh, key magnetic charger. Um, I actually don't use the magnet, uh, the uh, charging part for it because I've always got my phone on on the uh, the navigation. Um, I do use dual navigation and just in case something's going on weird with uh, with Nagatha here, um, just as a, a double precaution. So um, the the key charging just doesn't uh, keep up with it uh, well enough through this one. So I, I plug it in. There's the plug. It's uh, just pop that in but it's magnetic which is really cool so i can just you know set this up here and just clicks right on and it's magnetic not too bad not too bad uh cord management's a little uh, terrible right now i definitely need to work on fixing that uh but for right now the cords are out of the way kind of have a little, couple of these little clips here um yeah and an extra uh micro usb uh connection for things like you know my bluetooth um, for charging that or this, uh, this flashlight I use this flashlight every morning doing my uh, my pre-trips this flashlight is awesome it's bright I love this thing um, and it is USB rechargeable it's LED USB rechargeable nice love it all right moving on uh, if you've seen the treadmill video you've already seen the uh, the weights and the and the uh, uh, other you know the, the stretchy things to work my arms out and stuff like that uh, let's see up in the cabinets up in this upper cabinet oh, on the front of the cabinet here. I've got uh, three eyeglass holders one for my uh, 
reading glasses in case I need to look at something close. Uh, that's where I'm, I'm, I can't see things very close up without glasses. Uh, sunglasses that have the bifocals and then darker sunglasses for when the sun's right in my eyes. Um, check this out. Paper towel holder. Man, how often do you need a paper towel when you're driving down the road or just doing anything? You need to wipe off your hands or whatever. Uh, really, really handy to have a paper towel holder. Uh, post-it note, pop out. You post a note, boom, pop one out. You got a post a note. Uh, this is a map light, nice red map light. So if you're driving in the dark, you need a red light. You got it. Uh, yeah, it changes colors too. So you put it on red, and then you can turn it off, and it'll turn back red again. So you just hold it down. Got one there and one there because uh, they're not very bright. So usually I do need two of them. Uh, so that uh, that helps out. Uh, the older trucks, the 07 models, had the map light built in uh, to this system here, but this truck doesn't. Uh, this one, the, the red lights are gone, so don't have that anymore. Uh, in this cabinet, I went ahead and put the, uh, this is all my, my small tools. I put another little light in here, but the battery's starting to die. Um, let's see here. Small tools, you know, that, that you know, and scissors, you know, Yacto knife or razors, uh, you know, little ratchet sets, just the small stuff that you might just need periodically. My fuses, since you don't have a, a glove box in this truck, uh, I can't put them in there. Uh, so I got all my fuses and my spare bulbs in there. Um, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, I'm not going to show you every single cabinet, but we at least wanted to show you those because those are the ones right up front there for y'all. All right, so now let's go to the main attraction here, the back of the truck. Uh, I'm sure you guys have already seen my microwave oven. Uh, this truck comes with a spot for a full-size microwave oven. I did put a mirror on, on it. Hey, everybody. <laughs> put a mirror on it so I can see myself uh, because, you know, it takes a lot to look this good. So, you know, had to do that. Uh, and the refrigerator is up on its platform still. Okay. Uh, if you don't know why... Go check out the treadmill video. The treadmill video explains why I had to do that. But I did get some extra storage space out of it. So I found this, uh, this handy dandy little tote. Fits in there perfectly. And in there, voila, my Dyson. It's the Dyson car edition. So it's got the, the attachment. It's not the big old long bulky one. It's a really small, nice compact Dyson. Uh, works great. I love that thing, man. I'm using that constantly. Because we are always going in and out of dirt and mud and all kinds of stuff. So, look at that. Slides right in there. Got my fridge. Um, I decided to primarily sleep with my head up on this side. Most drivers sleep with their head on that side because of the controls. I don't use those controls that much. We'll go over that in a moment. But I like having a nightstand. So, the top of the refrigerator doubles as my nightstand. Um, which is really, really nice. I like that. It's got my little stuff there for... Uh, getting ready in the morning or whatever. Um, it's all attached down. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, this is my junk drawer back here. I can't really see it that well. But it's just a uh, little tub that I've uh, secured down there. All my extra little junk goes here. Back here, another uh, paper towel holder because, you know, as you're making food and stuff, you always need paper towels. So, got that going. Over here, on the side of the fridge, this is all pretty cool right here. Check this out. So, these things right here. Not sure how well you can see these. Yeah, there you go. Zooming around here. These things you can find on Amazon. They work for any phone or tablet, uh, any size. They're two individual pieces. And all you got to do is stick them where you need to for your phone. Like my phone slides right in here. Boom. And there's the charging cable right there and then my tablet there you go it's my tablet fits in there as well so now i've got my tablet and everything right here right on the side of my headboard or my uh my not my headboard my, my nightstand uh it's really cool it's charging cables over here as well and it is nice to have those right there right within reach as i need them um I went ahead and put in here, down on the side, the, the front headboard of the bed. I know it's kind of dark, but I put a power strip in there, secured that. That's where everything's plugged in on this side. Um, I've got a little clip for my uh, for my glasses over here, because, you know, who wants to walk 
all the way over there to get your glasses. And then have to walk all the way back over here. I mean, that's just too much. So I've got another pair of glasses right here, as well as my Samsung watch. Now, this is something for uh, for anybody who's trying to deal with charging these, these watches. I was having a heck of a time in training because they're magnetic. You know, it's just a magnetic plate right here. You try and set it down on something, that watch is just going to bounce right off. So I finally found a solution, and it's just one of these little hooks. This thing's magnetic, so it sticks on any metal surface, including a refrigerator, and it stays pretty stable. You just hook the uh, the watch right there, line it all up, and voila, there you go, it charges. And it will stay there like that during driving, during bouncing around, during all the movement and stuff like that. It stays right there, and it works great. So. There's a recommendation for uh, for anybody trying to figure out how to charge their watch while the truck is moving, especially if you're a team or in training. All right, now let's go ahead and, uh, as you can see, I got my uh, little backrest there. Let's go ahead and turn it around here. Aha, and now the TV, look at that. All right, so I got the 24 inch because everybody was at the shop was saying, yeah, 32 inches are a little too big. Uh, you know, you're right there anyway. Might as well just get the 24. You know it'll fit. And there is plenty of room for a 32 inch. You know, the concern was, you know, the uh, the top bunk. I wanted to keep the top bunk down. They didn't think that was going to be possible. And usually, they're attached right here instead of over there because most people have their heads over here, the TV's over here, and this cabinet doesn't come down very far. So... I can see that. In fact, you can see where the uh, old hole was right here uh, for the mount. And uh, and so, yeah, that, I could kind of see why they wouldn't want that. But if you're putting it over there, plenty of room for a 32-inch. In fact, my next truck will have a 32-inch. I might even swap this one out for a 32-inch eventually. So, um, oh yeah, another mirror. Huh. Let's check this out. This mirror was a pain in the butt to figure out. Uh, hey everybody, this mirror right, oh, hold on a second, I gotta <clears throat> suck it in, there we go, there we go, hey everybody, uh, this mirror was a pain in the butt, because I needed something light, you know, very lightweight to, to, you know, stay up here, I didn't drill any holes, everything, by the way, is all attached with Velcro and adhesive, uh, no holes at all, except for the TV mount, and this paper towel holder, I went ahead and mounted that, because he already had the holes there, so it wasn't a big deal. But this mirror, I was like, I need a mirror that's going to fit that will actually be lightweight. The only lightweight mirrors I could find were the full-length door mirrors, and that just wasn't going to work. So I went ahead and bought the full-length door mirror and, and a mirror glass cutter and went to cut it, and it ended up cracking right there, not even straight or anything. But now it looks like a nice, neat little design, and it fit perfectly. So I slapped that thing on there, and man, look at that nice mirror so i can actually see what i look like as i'm getting dressed you know i don't have to look like a total slob every single day you know that was a big concern too <laughs> i like to look all right all right now let's get to the real fun stuff here we got the tv going um i've got the tv hooked up to my uh to my t-mobile i don't know if you can see that up in there right where'd it go there it is that's my t-mobile hotspot right there on the other side, I've got my Verizon hotspot. Oh man, you can't even see it, it's just too crowded up in there. So I've got a T-Mobile and a Verizon hotspot because sometimes Verizon service kind of sucks. Uh, sometimes T-Mobile service kind of sucks, just depends on where you're at. Uh, so I've got the, uh, the smart TV hooked up to that. That's still not even the best part. I've got the laptop connected to this thing and the Xbox. Where are they? They're down here. So down here below the mirror and below the uh, the desk. So we got this desk here. Below all that is another cabinet. And let me uh, grab that flashlight so we can see in here. Check this out. I did have to relocate that uh, this thing right here, this, this uh, air duct. This is the air duct that supplies air to the uh, side vents over here and up to the uh, the top. Uh, the top one that's right up there. Um, I had to relocate that because stupidly they put it right smack dab over here in the middle 
where you can't put it, it, it takes up all the space. So that was terrible. I moved it over, um, had to do a little bit of re-cutting uh, on that thing. Hope they don't mind too much. Still looks great. I got the Xbox fit in there, got my laptop fit in there. Um, the laptop will work while it's in there and closed, so that's not a problem. I just take out the mouse and, and keyboard, and uh, they're both wireless, so that works as well. Uh, they are all wired in. I've got the wires all connected up in the back there. All the wires to the TV, everything, are all going right into the closet. The closet has a... Um, um, this this thing that pops on and off that you know hides all the wires and all the electronics and all that stuff for all this stuff so um, it's really convenient so even as I open up the closet you really can't see any of the wires or anything um, everything's kind of hidden and nice and neat and coordinated um, I've got another power strip right here for anything I want to plug in uh, some storage boxes that happen to fit right there they're just cereal boxes <laughs> that's all they are uh, and that's it so yeah I am happy I've got everything finally in here it took this long I have not turned on the Xbox yet um, just got that thing installed and I that is the next thing I'm gonna do as soon as I get to a wi a good Wi-Fi connection um, you know Xbox as soon as you connect to it it's gonna want to download tons and tons of updates gigs worth and you know I'm not gonna use my Wi-Fi hotspots for that because yeah, I don't have that much. So, um, you will see one wire coming out here. That is for the laptop for right now. Um, this laptop is about to be replaced. Event well, eventually, maybe not about to. But it's going to be replaced. This one's an older model. Um, and I've only got the one power cord. And sometimes I like to take those, you know, take it out with the power cord and everything. Go, you know, uh, take it in with me to wherever I'm at. So, I didn't put the... the uh, the power cable up in the back like everything like all the other power cables but on the new laptop I'm gonna get one that um, that I'll have two power cables one I can you know carry with me and one that can be hardwired back in there um, but yeah I'm, I'm happy and excited about this uh, man if you have uh, any comments suggestions uh, or man that's awesome <laughs> you know anything like that put it on there put it in the comments I appreciate seeing all your comments I really do and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk to you guys. There we are. All right. And, uh, you know, as always, I really appreciate the likes and subscribes. I'm uh, like that close to a thousand, everybody. So this is the push to a thousand subscribers. Uh, that really means a lot. That's a big milestone for me. And uh, once I get to a thousand, man, I will be uh, I'll be so happy. So if you are not a subscriber yet, um, man, I would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. As always, the likes are awesome. I really appreciate those, uh, as well as, again, the comments. And if you are interested in becoming a truck driver or coming to Prime, please head to driveforprime.com. Put in my, my code as a referral, P-A-U-J-A-J. -A -J. I'm J.J. Paulson. I really appreciate that. That would mean a lot to me. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, too, always happy to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm still new but I'll answer anything I can for y'all. All right, take care, everybody. Peace out.